So what is the horizon and the trajectory for the future of the treatment of multiple myeloma? I think the writing is on the wall. In fact, I don't even know why this is controversial. But the reality is one has to achieve the deepest level of response. We are really going to uh, try to get most of our patients into that MRD negative state. This is proven uh, you know, be, uh, beyond any doubt at this moment. How to do that, uh, I think there's, there's multiple approaches. We've seen that, of course, four drugs seem to be quite effective. We saw an update from the Griffin trial that uses Dara RVD, but then we're seeing an update from Master as well to Dara KRD. Um, the, the key questions are as follows, I think, what to do after that? So recent studies have shown that there's still benefit from stem cell transplant. In fact, uh, like the FORTE trial, the AFM 2009, they don't really show that you can dispense from transplant. But I don't think there's anything magical about transplant. It's just simply more of good treatment. And to me, one of the most important abstracts uh, being presented here that is uh, relevant to myeloma, maybe the SUMA clinical trials, which is looking at CAR T cells for lymphoma for first relapse, aggressive relapse, but really it's showing that it may be as good and I think better than stem cell transplant. I'm not a lymphoma person, so I'm not qualified to make that statement categorically. But as I read that, that's very tantalizing. So will that be the future for myeloma that we use four drugs and then CAR T cells? Maybe a step further, it could be that we get to the point similar to what has been done, for instance, in ALL, where patients are treated with a bispecific upfront plus a targeted therapy. What does that mean in myeloma? It could be an IMID and a PI, or maybe a, a bispecific and, a, and, and our tumumab, like it's being presented here. Or why not? And someone who has 1114, maybe a bispecific uh, and venetoclax. So I think quickly moving towards immunotherapy being part of the, the treatment paradigm, and of course, going for the cure.